Zoo School. Welcome to Zoo School where kids are in charge. Hi friends. Welcome to today's Zoo School. And we have a question from a kiddo named Liam who's wondering something about a type of animal who's actually just waking up from hibernation. So you might be thinking about bears, right? That's what a lot of people think about when you think about hibernating. But this animal is actually a reptile. And it's a reptile that lives right here in New England. So I'm standing here in the zoo's wetland trail. And this is the perfect habitat for eastern box turtles. So today we're learning all about these amazing animals. We're going to hear from our zookeeper and then we're gonna actually hear from our very own Dr. Kim Wojcik who is a reptile specialist. Let's turn it over to Liam and see what he's wondering. My name is Liam and my age is seven and I would like to know how turtles suck in their shell. Hi Liam, I heard that you're interested in how turtles are able to suck their body inside their shell. Well, the easiest way to say it is that they use the muscles in their legs and their neck and the rest of their body to just pull everything in. And this is a good way to show you that this is a turtle shell on the outside, but on the inside, this is what it looks like. So they actually have their backbone and their ribs fused to their shell. And so that's how everything is part of their body. And that way they can get inside nice and safe. Thank you so much for your question, Liam. And thanks, Gabe, for that awesome answer. But also, thank you for taking such good care of the reptiles here at the zoo. Now we wanted to talk a little bit about something uh, that's relevant to this time of year. I get a lot of calls and emails from folks just like you that found turtles right in their own backyard or maybe in a park that they're out exploring and they're wondering what they should do. So to help us learn more about what to do if we see turtles in the wild, let's turn things over to Dr. Kim Wojcik. Dr. Kim is not only our full-time veterinarian here at the zoo, she's also the president of the Association of Reptile and Amphibian Veterinarians. She's super smart and really awesome. Hey everybody, I'm here to talk to you today about turtles. And in the spring, you guys might see more turtles out and about. Um, the spring is the time when turtles are coming out of the water and starting to nest. Um, it usually happens um, when the days get warm and there's heavy rains. Um, so if you start to see turtles out and about, um, just know that if they are um, moving away from the water, you might see them in your backyard. Um, those guys aren't lost and they aren't sick in most cases. They are just out and about and trying to find a nesting site. Um, so for um, any of you guys that might see turtles crossing the road, um, that's the same thing. Those guys are out and they're looking for sites to lay eggs. Um, for these guys, those are, are going to be female turtles. The male turtles tend to stay um, in one place. Um, but if you do see a turtle that might be in an area that's dangerous, um, just tell an adult um, if you think that it isn't in the right place or if it's injured. Don't try to touch it yourself. Um, and if you are encountering a turtle in the middle of the road and an adult is there to help move it, they can move it in the same direction that it's going, even if that direction is in the opposite side of the water, because that animal is headed out uh, to lay its eggs. And the cool thing about turtles is that they don't stick around to take care of their nests. Um, they'll dig a hole, they'll lay their eggs, they'll cover them up, and then they'll head back to the water. So you may see them crossing those same areas of your yard or the street um, to head back to their ponds. And then in the fall, um, those nests where the eggs were laid will start to hatch and you may see teeny tiny baby turtles emerging out of the dirt. Um, those guys also don't need your help. They um, know where they are and they have natural instincts to head straight back to the water. Um, so that's something uh, that you may see later uh, in the summer as well. Thank you so much. Now we know exactly what to do if we see a turtle in the wild. Thank you for Liam for the inspiration for this entire episode. Your question about turtles was something that we were probably all wondering. And thank you so much to Gabe for all of the hard work you do, not only taking care of turtles, but all of the reptiles here at the zoo. If you have a question about any of the animals in the zoo, we'd love to hear from you. Please send us an email with your video and we'll feature you in an upcoming episode of Zoo School. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.